Well, crews spent the day removing the wreckage of the medical helicopter crash that killed three people in northern Kentucky. Our Madison Elliott is live in Owen County where the helicopter went down Monday evening. Madison? Good evening, Jennifer. So we saw the wreckage of that helicopter being pulled out behind in the field behind this house. It was loaded onto a truck, taken down this road, and then it hit the highway to where it's now heading to a secure site with the NTSB. Crews arrived this morning and remained here for much of the day, but now according to the NTSB, the site is clear. <laughs> On Wednesday morning, crews unloaded equipment to assist in the cleanup of the wreckage from Monday's medical helicopter crash that killed three members of Air Evac Life Team 133. AEL says pilot Gail Ailman, flight nurse Bethany Aiken, and flight paramedic James Welsh were on their way to pick up a patient when the helicopter went down. According to the FAA, the helicopter hit a guy wire before crashing and catching fire. Multiple agencies assisted on Wednesday, lifting out what was left of the wreckage. The NTSB tells us they moved multiple pieces. We then saw a truck carry the pieces secured down with the tarp off on this truck. The NTSB says it's now on its way to a secure facility for further examination. They tell us they now have more information to understand the crash. All the failures that we saw appear to be in overload due to impact. Uh, we saw no pre-impact mechanical uh, anomalies. They required us to dig further, research further, examine more deeply. Um, however, you know, the entire helicopter is being retained in case information we develop off-site leads us back to the wreckage for a further review. And tonight we learn the body of ailment has been taken from the medical examiner's office in Frankfurt, Frankfurt Fort, and ex escorted to a funeral home in Florence, his hometown. Reporting in Owen County, Madison Elliott, WLKY News.